What's up, everybody? I'm Jay Got. Hopefully, with a quick video, I'm trying to nail this out in like a few minutes. So, for those that are new users through to uh, Nvidia Shadowplay or GeForce Experience, which is part of you know the driver updates that you get for your, your graphics card from Nvidia 700 series and up. Uh, some people might not know how to activate Shadowplay because it's off by default. So, real quickly, we're gonna get through this, okay? Uh, Windows 10, you want to go to the uh, search icon right here. Just type in GeForce. And right here, GeForce Experience pops up. You're going to see this screen right here where you have to log in. You can log in to create an NVIDIA account or you have a Google, Facebook, whatever. You can log in with any of these things. I'm going to do a real quick jump cut and we'll come right back. All right. Once logged in, if you're a first time user, it will go ahead and scan your hard drive or drives for uh, games or, that are saved in typical, location, typical locations to go ahead and show you a list of games that it can optimize that are on your system. Now it doesn't do a hundred percent of them because some majority games nowadays will self optimize themselves. Once you install it, um, it's just kind of an automatic feature that's or thing that they just do nowadays. But anyways, so we're not talking about optimizations. We're talking about shadow play itself. There's other videos, you know, you might want to just mess around with this software just to get more familiar with it, you know, for driver updates, like I need to update my drivers, for instance, and things of that nature. Anyways, so for the settings of shadow play, I'm gonna go here to this icon. There's like an asterisk. Come over here and under the general tab, you wanna come to in-game overlay and it's on, make sure it's on. Cause if it's off, it's not gonna work. So turn it on or, and uh, to get to the settings of it, there's two ways of doing it. Hit Alt Z, like it says here, or click on settings, hit settings. The HUD layout. Now this area right here, it shows where you can have the camera, you know, we have a dash cam, a dash cam, um, webcam. Um, you can show where you want it in the corners, uh, status indicator. This is where um, it'll let you know if you want, if you're recording, you know if you're recording, um, the uh, icon will have a green circle in, in the center of it. Now these overlays don't show up, unlike the camera one, but the other show, those other overlays, like the status indicator, FPS counter, and viewers, they don't show up while you're recording. Um, it's, just, it's just an overlay. That's all it is, okay? So you can pick the corner where you want to have the status symbol at, the status indicator, FPS counter. You can pick which corner you want to have that at as well. Viewers, if you're streaming, same thing. Same thing with the comments, okay? Hit back. The key shortcuts. Go through these, and actually, the, you can change them to whatever you want them to be for um, the different quick functions of shadow play while you're playing the game. So just scroll these, scroll through these, and just understand. Or if you don't like how they're there, then pick a different key. <laughs> Back recording. Now, you, this right here, you want to set the directory where you want these videos and images to be saved at, because. Typically, you don't want to have these videos on your main drive. You rather you rather have them on you know a secondary drive because some of these videos can get pretty big. A twenty minute video that's done in 1080p could be up to seven gigs. You know, just throwing that out there. So you know, you can easily eat up a lot of, uh, eat up a lot of hard drive space. Broadcast it. So this is for um, basically for people that stream. Just same thing. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> I don't use it to stream. I use OBS. Highlights. Now, um, this is the icon right here when you know a game. This is a new feature, but this is the icon that you'll see on the screen when you know a game uh, enables this highlight feature. Two games I know for sure that do it is Lawbreakers, and, uh, which is a great game, and PUBG, which is also another great game. Um, side note, I think Sony and Microsoft should implement this feature as well because you just never know when you're going to have a badass kill and you don't want to have to down, you know, capture a whole match just to go back to that that spot, you know what I mean? Um, I think this feature is real great for those that want to create a scissor reel of uh, highlights, you know, that they do in matches and whatnot. I know a friend of mine that plays a lot of uh, The Last of Us or uh, Uncharted. He does a lot of sniping stuff. He does like a scissor reel, but I can understand that his, you know, um, trying to edit all that stuff may take some time. So this actually helps shorten that, and because it's eleven, it's eleven second uh, clip, which doesn't eat up a lot of space. And same thing here. Sorry, I went on a little tangent there, but same thing here. You want to turn it on or off. I have mine on. It's always good to have it on. Um, tell it where you want to save and the maximum disk space. I have it all the way <laughs> on mine. And before we get out, I'll show you uh, how big these files are. They're pretty damn small. Notifications. I have them all of mine on. 
basically um, what will happen is if you save something or record something, a little window will pop, a little uh, I, uh, notification will pop on the side, roughly around here. It's, uh, just let you know that, hey, I got whatever it is. It's kind of just letting you know that the command you executed was executed. So um, this is the instant replay. I got more turn it off right quick. So we come into customs customization, customize it. I have mine set to 1080p. I know they have one that says in game. Um, there's a bug with this, I think. At least with me, it's a bug. I'm working with Nvidia to try to get you know bring this to uh, resolution. But anyways, set this to the display you have. You have a 720p monitor, 1080p or whichever. Just set it to that, and then uh, frame rate. You know, choose 30 or 60. Obviously, you probably want 60. And then the amount of time that you want it to capture, right? Now, this capture is if something happened. You want the past 20 minutes or the past 10 minutes. That's what this is for, okay? And obviously, you can set the bit rate right here. High is always, the, is always the best recommended. Record. Now, this is for um, if you want to just record on the fly. Like, you start a game hit record you want to record a whole hour or whatever this is where you you know this is what you do the settings at and typically they work in tandem the instant replay replay and the record the broadcasting well i think obviously i think you may know what this is for as if you want to go stream using uh facebook twitch or youtube uh typically a lot of people would use third party stuff like obs or xsplit so on and so forth okay and this is the microphone. You have uh, so this is the camera. I don't have a camera, so you know it's not going to be active. Microphone. You can have your microphone uh, icon be on. Like it's always recording your mic. If you're recording, it's always capturing it if your mic's on or off, whichever. You know, it's kind of obvious. Gallery would be pictures and whatnot um, of locations that you know. It, it, it just looks through the locations where it has stuff saved. That I think it's kind of self-explanatory. But hold on, let me turn on my stuff right quick. Before we get out of here last thing right quick okay about the highlights why it's a great feature to have on any game um, going forward because you just never know when badass stuff happens and it's great that the system takes care of you while this happens right so I pay a lot of lawbreakers as you can see these files are freaking small 66 megabytes for an 11 second clip is damn near nothing really nowadays so this is what it does it, it captures it <laughs> So that's something that happened with me, with me when I was playing. You know, I can hold my own. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at this game, I would assume. Oh, you know, so if you want to see some more gameplay of me, I have a, a playlist of me going in on some of these matches and whatnot. But uh, it's cool that, that the secret feature is actually here. You know what I mean? So. Cool. Now, since we got an understanding what highlights are, I think uh, also. Since whatever directory you, you set to save the recordings, it will go ahead and create a folder named after that game. These are empty, but, you know, named after that game, and then I'll put the video in that folder. Like my Lawbreakers one, Lawbreaker Clips. These are 20-minute videos. Um, Overwatch, well, John got it in there, but <laughs> I think I have one with PUBG. Hold on, let me look for it right quick. PUBG, there it is. Video clips are in there. So it... It automizes them, so it's not all just thrown in one folder. You know what I mean? So it breaks it down, makes it easy to find, and I think that's where we're gonna stop the video. So, <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, leave me a comment below with a question. I'll see if I can answer it the best way I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and provide a link to Nvidia's highlight uh, video. They just, they just um, uh, I guess, explaining highlights maybe more in depth. Um, you go going to check that out in the description. But other than that, I'm Jay Got. And I'm out, and I hope this video helps for those that want to use this going forward. All right, man. Peace out.